I've been polishing this all night. I was getting excited. Woo! Yeah. Oh man, I'll tell you what, I uh, am getting older, getting older sucks. I had a wake up call the other day. I went to, uh, well, I like to think of myself as a celebrity, you know, and I deserve those nicer things in life. I like, I should, I deserve to be pampered once in a while. Because in a few more years, I'll be wearing pampers, so you know, I want to make sure that I enjoy life now. So I took myself to Taco Bell, and uh, I deserve that. And uh, I go through the drive through and the girl tells me how much it is. I hand her my money, and she comes back with my change, and she goes, Sir, don't worry. I made sure to put your senior citizen discount on it. <laughs> she closes the window, walks me, and I'm like, Hell no! And I'm like, look down, I'm 50% off. Thank you. Thank you. Be nice to your elders. And I, I felt bad after that. And I was like, you know what? I won't do that again. But I, if I was to do that again, I probably would go to Goodwill on Tuesdays. It's their senior day there. Uh, when I was younger, I had like a suave swagger. I mean... Everywhere I went, people would always compliment me on, on how I carried myself. They'd say, you carry yourself with confidence. It's like, cool, okay. Well, now that I'm older, I don't do that. Because I don't have confidence. It's hard to be confident when your swagger is turned into a stagger. You know, it's like my legs can't keep up with the top part of my body. The further I walk, the faster I get, the more dangerous it is for everybody. I start looking for shit to grab a hold of. I'm like... <laughs> now I gotta take a couple puffs out the inhaler. <laughs> it's not good. And not only that, but my hair went straight from brown to silver. I'm worried now that when I'm on the freeway, I'm gonna see a silver alert and it's gonna be my information. <laughs> People are gonna be driving me and going, there he is, there's the old guy. <laughs> That's lost. <laughs> it's definitely not good. So I was at the store the other day, and um, I had something happen that's never, ever happened to me before, ever, in a store. I went there to pick up a couple items. I'm going to be in and out real quick. So I get a shopping cart, and I start going, and immediately I knew something's wrong with this cart. Okay, I start pushing it, and there's no wobbling wheel. It feels like it's floating on air. I was like, what the hell is wrong with this car? I let go and it coasts nice and easy. I was like, what? So I stopped, I started looking around and I started kicking it. <laughs> Manager comes up to me and goes, sir, is there a problem with that car? I said, yeah, there's a problem with this car. The problem with this car? There's no problem with this car. What's the problem, man? <laughs> he goes, sir, if you, if you want, I can get you another car. He went to grab it. I said, you touch that car and I will break both of your damn arms. <laughs> I was there for six hours pushing that car around. <laughs> I didn't want to give it back. I was like, I love that cart. Never happened before. You always get the one cart that's got that one wheel that waits until you get 20 yards away from the other carts. Until you're in the middle of the aisle right in front of everybody where everybody can see you before it starts going. <laughs> And you're like looking around like, oh crap. And everyone's giving you that look like you're the idiot. <laughs> idiot. You just try to ignore it, you just keep pushing it like it's not my card. <laughs> but if you let go, it immediately goes into the aisles, <laughs> knock everything over. It's the same card that when you push it for three aisles, by then your arms have gone into a coma. <laughs> you're standing there trying to get stuff off the shelf. <laughs> Cocoa puffs. You gotta put your hand back on the cart. It's a damn, it's a damn shopping cart. You'll never forget it because you get it every single time. Which brings me to my next next topic of sex. <laughs> you guys, if you're gonna have sex, please use condoms. Be safe. I stopped one night and bought a box of condoms, and the clerk asked me, he "Said you need a bag to go with that?" Oh no, man, she ain't that fucking ugly. <laughs>
He said, the bag is for you, douche. <laughs> and we never give a two to protect our safety. <laughs> With all this COVID cooties going around. But if you're going to use a condom, you guys, you might need a lubricant. If you have anal sex, do not use toothpaste. <laughs> it says right on the tube, bites cavities. <laughs> <laughs> My ass is still burning, but she has fresh breath. <laughs> A lot of people married here. Where are my married people? <laughs> Don't be too excited, man. She's sitting right there. Are you guys on date night? Yes, you? Yes. So you gotta have date night. Date night's important. Yeah. Keep that spunk in a relationship. My ex wife was a freak. She wouldn't do date night. We had to have date rape night. <laughs> <laughs> See, we lived in an apartment, so she didn't want me to go around the back, crawl in the window, <laughs> do my thing, and crawl back out. She said, You better bring your A game, because when you come through that window, I'm gonna fight you off. <laughs> I said, shit, bitch, if I think I'm going to get laid, it's on. <laughs> so I went around and I called in the window, and I'll tell you what, she had the strength of a man. <laughs> At one point, I found myself on the bottom with my pants being pulled down. <laughs> if it wasn't for my ninja skills and the fear of having something stuck up my butt, I might have been in trouble. <laughs> but I managed to get through that and get out of there. Only to find out later that I crawled in the wrong window. <laughs> All looks the same from the outside. So needless to say, I got a divorce and moved in with the neighbor. <laughs> and then he wanted a commitment. <laughs> so that's where I draw the line. So that would explain the strength of a man and the hairy butthole. <laughs> Before I get out of here and tell you this joke, as, as we're getting older, man, I forget everything all the time. I forget stuff all the time. The bad part about that is that we always forget the important things, the things that we tell ourselves, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. I forgot. But we remember the shit we should forget, right? When I was a kid, I grew up on a farm. I would like to forget about the time that my parents let me milk our bull. <laughs> It takes all day, folks, to get a little bit of milk out of that. And it's actually kind of more of a creamer. Which is probably the reason I don't like milk. Or beef stroganoff. Just saying. I'd also like to forget about the time I got pulled over in California. Uh, Jim Perry ought to like this one. I got pulled over, the cop comes up to the car and he says, can I see your driver's license? And I hand it to him and he goes, oh, you're from Arizona? He goes, are you native? I said, no, I'm Caucasian. I should say that. He goes, I'm gonna ask you a question, don't lie to me. He said, have you had anything to drink today? I said, yes. And he said, what did you have? I said, I had a Dr. Pepper earlier and I got a Starbucks right here. I didn't want to lie to him. He goes, if I search your vehicle, am I gonna find anything illegal? I said, no, sir, everything is paid for. <laughs> Even the drugs. He goes, how would you like to go to jail tonight? I said, oh, tonight's not good. I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> but thanks for asking. Catch me on a Friday. Maybe we can work it out. <laughs> he goes, you're a real fucking smart ass. He goes, what do you think? You're a fucking comedian? <laughs> yes, I do. And that's my time, folks. I'm Joel Cooper. Thank you very much.